rain them down, rain them down, rain. And happy Nova Scotia Day! Happy Nova Scotia Day! So for Nova Scotia Day, we are going to make Nova Scotian brown bread with a sourdough twist. Are you going to taste that shortly? So step one with our Nova Scotia brown bread is to get your sourdough out of the fridge. If you haven't seen my sourdough maintenance video, I'll link that in the description below. I keep my sourdough starter in the fridge and then when I need it, like when I'm gonna make a recipe and I want an active starter, then I pull it out of the fridge in the morning and I'm gonna add some flour and water to get it activated. So I'm gonna be adding a third of a cup of flour and a third of a cup of water, and I'll just give that a good stir. Then I'll leave this out on the counter so that the sourdough gets nice and warm and active, and we have an active sourdough starter to use in our bread. So we're gonna be using some sourdough instead of regular yeast. Do you guys like the taste of the shortening? Ew. This recipe is really cool because it uses fancy molasses. Okay, so in the mixer, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of sugar, half a cup of water, and the sourdough. Let me put the teaspoon. You wanna add it in, and we're gonna be using about a third of a cup of sourdough, and I think we're gonna add a little bit of regular quick rise yeast. Normally, this recipe would use 2.5 teaspoons of yeast, but like I said, we're substituting some out for sourdough. One teaspoon of yeast. What yeast taste? This is oat deep yeast. See, look how small it is. To the mixer. Mm. No, this is my job. It's okay, you guys can work together. Put the lid back on that. Then we're gonna add the sugar. One teaspoon of sugar. There you go. Very good. I... Yeah. So we need half a cup of warm water. Okay. Now what's that doing? And a third of a cup of the sour. set that aside and we're gonna do the next part. Yay! Okay. So for the next part we're going to use half a cup of rolled oats, one and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one oh, yeah. tablespoon of shortening, and one cup of boiling water. You want to come help? You want to stay there? Rolled oats. Yeah so we're gonna use half yeah, a cup it's, of rolled oats. It's granola. It's like granola. You can eat whatever's stuck in the container. It doesn't taste very good, I'm sure. Okay. Hefty tablespoon of shortening. Got one cup of boiled water. And this is just to help dissolve the shortening and soften the oats. We're using a kid's spoon. Larry, you wanna do this? You wanna help try to break up the shortening, yeah? No, don't eat that, please. Put it back in the bowl and dissolve it. Okay. Thank you. You can see? That's good. A little lower, they can't see it in the camera. There you go. How's that? 
How's it going? Got it dissolved yet? Almost. I'm showing the camera. You're showing the camera. Good work. You need to, to happen, right? Mm hmm. I'm doing it for you. You're doing a great job for me. Once the shortening is dissolved, we put it in here. That's right. So we'll give it a quick little stir and dump it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. Okay. Please what, honey? brown bread and to make it brown bread we gotta add molasses. Yes! So we're gonna add let me it. Oh let me measure it. <laughs> we're gonna add half a cup of molasses because this is what makes it the color brown. Oh Lincoln you want to dump. No. Okay dump dump. What the okay. soap it's kind of like syrup. Lincoln wants to help. Pour it in. There you go. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Papa. Okay. Can you say molasses? Uh, molasses. It got on you. Some molasses got on you. Then we're also going to add two and three quarter cups of flour. Okay. First you can start mixing the molasses in. Oh no, the lid. Take all the rest of our flour. Let's dump it all of the rest of it in, hey? Yeah. Yep, that's all we got left for flour. We need to. Here, can you help me give it a test? Just we got some extra flour in the pan. Oh, we Thank used to make for pizza. Turn it on. What color is it? So your dough is going to be a little bit runny. Why? That's how this dough is. Yeah. Should be a nice brown color. <laughs> I'm just going to Lincoln. I'm just going to give it a little stir and then it's going to rise in this bowl. Mm. Dough is going to rise in here for about half an hour to an hour. And then I'm going to pour it into a loaf pan, a greased loaf pan and then it will rise a little bit further in the loaf pan. So we'll check back in a little bit later today. This page? This is where we live. This is where we live? And when we're doing the grandpa's we're still in Alberta. That's right, when we go to grandpa's, we're still in Alberta. Oh, you <laughs> say. Now where is Nova Scotia? Do you remember? The one with a X. X marks the, the spot. Poop. It's just a little one. And once you like do that, it would say nine, like, it say it's so big. That's right. It's like, like, once you watch, you just see the river there. And mostly, you just found a toad river. The river, it's an ocean. What? Ocean. It's bigger than a river. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Okay, so your great grammy and your great grampy live in Nova Scotia. And you have some aunties and some uncles. Who lives here? In New Brunswick? I think you have some family in New Brunswick even too. Isn't that crazy? You have family all over Canada. Who lives here? Hmm. What's that place called?
We've got some Whoa. perfectly risen bread. Good. It's Dad ready to bake. Water. So the bread needs to cook at 350 for one That's hour. Well, I'm excited to go to Nova Scotia and travel there. How do you think we're going to get from all the way over here to over here? With an airplane. With an airplane, that's right. Both toes? Oh, just say. Did you know that you could drive there too? How? But it would take so many days. It's like, do you remember 20, how long? 80 days. 20, 80, 80 days. That's a lot of days. Do you remember when we slept over at Grandpa's house yeah. and it felt like we were living there? Yeah. That's how long it would take to get to Nova Scotia if we drove. Whoa. Yeah. What are you excited to do in Nova Scotia? Play sand. Play in the sand? And, and go in the water. Go in the water? And build. Build stuff? Okay. Do you remember that cool aquatic vehicle mm -hmm. that we were talking about? Gone. Gone. The one that goes on the land and the water. Do you remember that one? Oh, his wheels do then fall off. And what is his wheels going to do when he's in the water? I don't even understand. They probably just go inside of the bus. They go inside the bus? I, like, think, they, oh. I think they do like one stroke, one little bit of the dip. The tile oh. is in in the water, yeah. I seen the tiles just a oh. and then I seen that just moves it. <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's the hardest day. Bread fresh out of the oven. I'm just gonna do a little knife test. Make sure the knife comes out clean. Oh, if you could smell this bread.